My name is Christian Mörder from Felder. I'm working in uh, Karlsruhe, Germany for Visteon. And what I introduced to you is the Visteon Smart Core technology. The Smart Core technology aims to integrate drive information as well as uh, infotainment and getting these technologies a little bit closer to each other. We're looking for adding add additional value to the infotainment by having the car connected to the internet. Usually we have individual ECUs like uh, the HUD, uh, the cluster and also a silver box for the infotainment and eventually another ECU for the connectivity and if you want to have interaction with these sort of devices you need to wire them up. What we want to achieve is a so-called ECU consolidation. We're bringing all these ECU together on one piece of silicon. On the first core we have a QNX cluster running uh, 3D software for rendering the gauges. On the second core we have infotainment like a media player but also the radio, some auxiliary in, digital broadcast, etc. And also we would suggest to have navigation on it. And on the third core you could imagine that we're using some rear view camera for parking assist with additional ADAS information. On the fourth core, there is connection to the internet, which is realized through a complete Android. For instance, if you want to have internet in the infotainment unit, you need to have a connection to a wireless gateway. With simple gestures, we can fling the content also in the cluster. And this works as well as on other applications like the navigation. and also media application and tuner. To showcase to you the stability of the overall system, that means that we have uninterrupted service, not only on the media player, but also in the driver information, which is very important for our customers. I turn on the music here, and I launch an application, which is called Detonate. And this is an application that deliberately uh, brings Android to its needs, which is a synonym to the fact that Android has a process consuming 100% CPU. Android is not responding anymore. So I press the button here, and Android is about to be rebooted. While we hear constant the sound in the background of the media player, and the gauges are doing their turns like normal. So there is no interruption of the service of all the other cores, while the core 4 is currently completely on hold and just in this situation rebooting. It really gives uh, substantial evidence that the driver information can be safely run on a single piece of silicon, while some conservative opinions mean that it needs to be a separate ECU. But we prove here that the integration of driver information and infotainment or Android on a single multi-core SOC is possible.